Okay, so a lot of people keep asking about different mowers I've done reviews on. Um, I haven't done I haven't done reviews on that many of them in, in demos, so to speak. So you know they want to know what mowers I've demoed and what would I recommend. So I pretty much have three main mowers that I did demos on, which was the Hustler Super S Standard, the Wright ZK, and the Skag Tiger Cat. So. Um, and as many of you have been following me for a long period of time, you know which ones, uh, what I end up going with and, and the end result of those. But So what I've decided to do is I'm going to put all three of those together in one video and talk a little bit about each one. And that way, you know, if people want it in the future, they're looking for certain things, they can go to one video and find uh, my demo experience with all three of those units and you know, what I, what I end up being the end result of them and what I think of them. And you get to see a little bit of each one of those mowers. So let's get into it and uh, cover these three mowers. I've been flying from town to town, from London to Taiwan. I've been all around the globe trying to protect your soul. Okay, so here's the deal. I'm gonna try to cover this as best I can. So I left out a mower in the intro and uh, you'll see it covered here in a little bit. But this here is the Wright ZK61. And when I demoed this, I did not want a 61 inch mower. I ended up demoing it because it's all they had as far as the demo goes, uh, which Ryan ended up buying this mower later on. But um, I really liked riding it. It was a fun mower to ride. The controls were pretty nice and uh, it was just big. It was, it was a lot bigger than what I needed. You guys know that, you know, my ideal mower is a 52 or 56 in that range. But um, so it was definitely big. But the thing I didn't like about it is I didn't like the deck. It cut like shit. And I know, I know we've been over this a million times with these right decks and what people think, but whatever, it's my opinion. So it was a really fun mower to ride, but it cut like shit. You'll see this one I'm mowing here isn't even, it's not even that tall. I think it was like June, like mid June or something when I demoed this mower and um, I end up having to double cut this property and it wasn't even that tall, it wasn't wet. And it just, the mower just didn't do what I needed it to do. So. Um, I had it for, I don't know, I think like a week or so, and it was a series of two different mowers I was gonna be demoing that week. So I had it for like a week and I ran the hell out of it and uh, put it through everything that I could. I put it through some thicker stuff, which I gave up on that real quick. It definitely didn't handle that. I mean, it, it could barely handle this, but it did stripe really well. It drove really well. It had plenty of power. It was not an EFI. Um, I can't remember exactly what engine was on this, but it did have plenty of power. It was a really good running mower and it was really fast. And uh, like I said, the controls were nice. I liked the platform. You know, Ryan mentioned if you watch in yesterday's video, he doesn't like the platform in the ZK, but he's a lot bigger than I am. I'm 204 pounds. He's he's 300 pounds or, or somewhere in that range. You know, he's, he's a bigger boy than I am. So, you know, I, I can see he's got six or 700 hours on that machine. So he's really worn them down, but it just wasn't for me. So. The next mower I demoed that week was the Skag Tiger Cat. And as many of you know that have been following me, it's the mower I end up buying. So um, I really did like the Skag Tiger Cat. Uh, the, the main reason for going with the Skag Tiger Cat, and I know it's completely different end of the spectrum, so to speak, from a standard to a sit down, was I really needed something to bag. But I had seen the Pico bagging systems, I think they were called, that you could hang. They were like a, a clamshell off the back of standers. So um, I had that as an option if I were to buy that ZK. And so that's why I didn't mind looking at that versus uh, you know a sit down zero turn. But when it came down to it, I liked the way that the Skag cut better. Um, a lot of people say they do not cut well in the Northeast. I didn't have any problem with it. It wasn't as good as a lot of other mowers that I've cut with in the Northeast, you know, up here in my area. But I, I really didn't have any problem with it. It, it. it mowed just fine. It cleaned up just fine, even in heavy, wet, thick stuff. Um, and I've owned a lot of Skags over the years and I never really had a problem with the way any of them cut. My big issue with Skag is hills. And I did end up finding that to be an issue with this Tiger Cat. 
and um, it was like that on the other Skag that I demoed, which you're gonna see in this video, which I believe is the one I left out in the intro. But anyway, um, Skags are just, they're just crap on hills. They, they can't do hills for, for crap. Um, I think that's their biggest downfall. Uh, the one thing I did not like about this Tiger Cat was to bag with it and hang the blower off the bag, or to hang the blower system off the deck. Uh, to take it off, it, it you couldn't just side discharge and cut because the mouth, I believe, was like 13 half, 14 inches wide. And in order to bag, you had to have these two baffles in it that bolt in, one's in the front, one's in the back, and it reduces the mouth down to like five and a half or six inches. And then you hang the blower on there. Well, if you left either of those baffles out and hung the blower on there, it would just blow grass out all around the blower system that hangs off the side for the bagger. So you couldn't leave those out. But if you pulled the blower off and you wanted to side discharge with those baffles in, it clumped up and blew crap out like crazy. So you had to unbolt them two baffles and take them out to open that mouth right back up. And then it would cut great. It would go through heavy wet thick stuff. Um, if I had to double cut a property, it would clean up just fine. But that's what you had to do. And it was a huge pain in the butt. So between that and between how it was sliding all over on hills, like it just wouldn't handle hills for crap, I ended up selling. I sold it to Ryan, and that's when uh, that's when I went to Walkers. But here we are on the other Skag that I demoed. This was the V-Ride 2, and this was just, I think last year I demoed this one. Um, I loved this mower, loved this mower. It was not the EFI. Again, none of these mowers were the EFIs, but um, it still seemed to have plenty of power in it. It cut great. It, you know, it, I, it just become the time of the year. I like to demo the most in the spring. That's when we have our heavy, wet, thick growth. But in my area in the fall, it grows like crazy. Again, it's very wet, a very moist grass. And and plus you get the leaves on top of it. So I really like demoing mowers in the fall um, because I get a combination of both, the heavy, wet, thick, tall growth, plus the leaves on top of it. So I get to see everything this mower is gonna do. This thing cut great, it spread grass out great, it mulched like nobody's business, even with just stock blades on it. It mulched really, really well. And if you go back and watch the review video I did on this mower, you'll hear me talk about that. But I, I was genuinely impressed with it. The reason I did not buy this mower, again, was because it would not handle a hill. Um, Skag is known for making tall tires but thin tires in comparison to all the other mower manufacturers. They need to make a wider tire. It just, I don't understand. They've been told a million times over and I don't understand why they won't get this through their heads that if you have a thin tire, it's not gonna hold hills for shit. I don't care what the stance is on the mower. I don't care if you're standing in between the tires or if you have a platform behind them like on the Xmark and the Toros. Um, I don't understand what they don't get about it. If you have a thin tire, it's not going to hold hills. It, it's just not. It's just the way it is. And the tread pattern they use, uh, or they were at the time using tread pattern on tires that weren't was not ideal. It wasn't the same as what everybody else is using on the market that holds a lot better. Um, and I've, I've been over that style of tires in the past. But if it wasn't for that, I would have bought this mower. Um, I was offered a great deal on it. And as a matter of fact, this same mower I demoed is still sitting on the showroom floor of the dealer that I use that sells Skaggs. And he just, he can't get rid of it. Nobody wants it. And he's like, I think it has like 50 or 55 hours on it, something like that. Cause that's what I put on. I had nothing on it when I got it. And uh, I believe I was the only one to demo it or maybe one more person, but he's trying to dump this mower off for eight grand. And it's a really good deal for this mower, but no one's buying it. And it's a huge thing with Skag is, you know, they're just, they're great mowers. They, they cut great, they strike like there's nobody's business, it, like no one's business. It's just, you know, they're, they're really good mowers as far as all that goes. The controls were awesome. Excuse me. I love the platform in this mower. That was definitely, definitely very, very comfortable. Um, I did, after uh, being on it all day, notice that my feet felt a little sore being on this thing. I, I don't know if it was because of my shoes or what the deal was, but it was really weird because the, cover, the platform just did feel really, really comfortable to be on. Um, a lot of uh, absorption on bumps uh, as far as impact goes, but you know, it was a great mower. The controls were real responsive. They're real user friendly, um, just really easy to use. And like I said, the mower drove great, but it was it was a whole hill stability thing, which was a big, big uh, turnoff for me. And I just couldn't go with this mower. But 
I did enjoy using it and I would recommend it if you're in an area that doesn't have a lot of hills um, or maybe since then, since this demo, um, back when I did it, I, maybe Skag has changed around their tires. I don't know, but I've heard that they're, uh, they've gotten better with their machines handling hills. Um, that, that's about, it's about all I can say for this mower. Um, like I said, the, all these demos, uh, the full videos of them are back to my playlist and you can go, go in and find them all, but I was trying to consolidate them down to one. Um, but as far as standards go, I would recommend this to people that, you know, have smaller hills or, you know, aren't in an area where the grass is real wet all the time. I think maybe on drier um, turf, even on hills, it, it might do all right. But it just, in my area, you guys know, the grass stays wet a lot. And it's, uh, I have a lot of hills in my area that it, it just, it just couldn't handle. Um, but other than that, I would definitely recommend this mower. I definitely liked it better than the ZK, and it's definitely better than any ride I've ever ridden. Um, so that brings us to the Hustler, the Hustler Super S. Now, the downfall about this is I didn't get to demo it in the ideal time of year. It's just uh, my dealer that sells right and sells Skag uh, had just picked up Hustler and asked me if I wanted to demo this mower. So it's just the time of year that it fell on. Um, as far as cut quality goes, it's probably the best mower that I have ever demoed. Um, and I mentioned it in the video uh, that I did on this, the final review video, and then I believe the other one or two videos I did just using it. Um, they did not over baffle the shit out of this deck, which so many manufacturers do nowadays. And decks that are not over baffled are ideal for my area. It's the best that you can get. Um, it's just all these decks that keep over baffling for the southern states and out west that they do phenomenal in those areas Just do not cut where the crap in my areas But as you see right here on this property, the grass is pretty burnt up pretty brown um, And I mentioned when I made this video normally I do not cut lawns that look like this. I'll skip over them um, But this is one of the customers that wants to cut every week doesn't care and they want the stripes in their lawn which uh, this mower definitely had no problem putting stripes in the grass, uh, even with it brown and burn up like this. But uh, um, I did take it, I did have some properties that are heavily fertilized and it was real thick green lush grass that I cut with it and it just did phenomenal. It was just a great cutting mower. Um, so I'll just finish this off with Billy on it. Out of all the mowers, as far as standards go, he loved this the most. He didn't like a lot of the other standards that I had tried putting him on. He just wasn't a fan, but he loved this thing. He was trying to get me to buy it. Unfortunately, this demo unit only had a 48 inch deck, um, but it, it still was a lot of fun to use. And Billy loved this thing. He, he rode the crap out of it for the few days that we had it. Um, I definitely would recommend this mower. Um, to anybody who was looking for a stander. I had zero quorums about this mower. It just, it did great in every aspect that I wanted it to. From the controls, to the hillside stability, to the way it would feather out thick, heavy grass. It just did really well. So um, that's my bit on these demos. And that's pretty much the bulk of the mowers that I have demoed. And I hope you guys like this.